Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about why a lot of people should be eating two meals a day, which is known as the intermittent fasting diet called the 16A intermittent fasting method, instead of eating one meal a day. And you may be thinking, why would I be telling people to eat two meals a day instead of one meal a day? So yeah, you're going to find out in this video the very good reasons as to why I do not recommend everyone eating one meal a day. So yeah, as you know, I've been eating one meal a day for quite some time, around four months. And before that, for around a year, I was in the 16-8 method, where I was eating around two meals a day. And I normally fast around 16 to 20 hours a day, and then have an eating window around four to six hours. So yeah, I have a lot of people in the comments sections say down below, and this video has made me be more inspired to make this video by one of my vegan friends that runs a YouTube channel. She's a lovely, lovely female friend of mine in Duquette, Thailand, where I used to live. And she was saying to me, she's finding it really, really hard to eat one meal a day. She's got a very busy, active lifestyle. And she said to me, what could I be doing? And I said loads of different things that she could be doing and certain things that she shouldn't be doing to make one meal a day work. But what I also said to her at the same time was, if you're finding it too hard, to eat one meal a day and you're not having an abundance of energy throughout the day and your mind isn't functioning optimally, then I would recommend not eating one meal a day instead of forcing yourself to do it. Because if you're forcing yourself to do it, you could be pushing your body too far, which could induce too much of a stress response within your body and have a whole host of negative effects on your mental health and physical health holistically and your energy levels as well. And a whole host of other negative effects that you'd want to be avoiding. So yeah, if you're someone that is finding one meal a day really, really hard and you're following all of the advice in my videos such as the how to eat one meal a day, which I put a link for up above, and I also recommend watching my video called the number one reason why I was failing with trying to eat one meal a day, which I also put a link for that up above. So yeah, if you're following all of my advice, word for word and doing it very, very well and consistently in the right way, and you're still finding it really hard to sustain eating one meal a day long term to get all the amazing benefits that I've mentioned in so many different videos, then in that situation, I would recommend that you eat two meals a day and stick to the 16-8 intermittent fasting method. So what you do is you would skip breakfast and then have your first meal in the afternoon time. And then you'd have your next meal, which would be your dinner meal later on in the day and you try and eat all of that food within a six hour window. And you can even have multiple meals within that six hour window if you want, and you still get the full benefits of the intermittent fasting 16-8 method. But yeah, obviously you're not gonna get as greater weight loss benefits and testosterone production and human growth hormone producing benefits. Insulin won't go as low, it's not gonna give you as great effects for improving insulin sensitivity. But what you can do over time as your body becomes used to intermittent fasting on a daily basis and it becomes more fat adapted, which normally takes around two weeks when you get into daily intermittent fasting and that you just get used to it mentally as well. Then you can start to increase your daily fast duration. So you could go from 16 hours a day, then 17 hours, 18 hours, 19 hours, 20 hours, and slowly start increasing it over time. And you don't necessarily the first day you want to go from 16 hours and the next day 17 and the day after 18. Just find what works best for you and just be very mindful. And if you're feeling that it's really easy to fast the length that you set for yourself, then next time you go and do it, just push it even longer. And then you can gradually build up to fasting around 23 hours a day and eating for around a one hour eating window, which will give you the best benefits with daily intermittent fasting so yes yeah, slow and steady wins the race be careful with yourself and do not push yourself so like i said it can have a whole host of negative effects on you and for some people just mentally it could be too much as well so yes yeah, slowly building it up over time can make your mind adapt to this new way of eating and then it can just become so much easier for you to get to the point of eating one meal a day and for me I once tried switching to one meal a day from two meals a day, and I started fasting anywhere up to around 20 hours or so. And at first I was only fasting around 16 hours. And I found the longer, well, the, the more longer period that I was doing intermittent fasting over, the easier I found it to fast longer. So I started gradually going towards one meal a day and shortening my eating window. But then I tried and pushed it too quickly 
and my body just did not like it at all. My stress response was going through the roof. It was overstimulating my nervous system. Any levels were dropping. I felt that I had to just rest for the last few hours of fasting and it just wasn't working so good for me. So I switched back to two meals a day and then naturally over time, my body started getting me to eat one meal a day. And as I mentioned in the video, the number one reason why I was failing was because I was not eating enough calories in one sitting. And then one time I had to go to Phuket, Thailand to sort out my visa to stay in Thailand even longer. And when I went there, I had to travel for a very long period of time all day long. So I didn't get to eat until really late at night. And when I went to this all you can eat vegan buffet, I ate more food than I ever would do in one sitting. And then after that day, I found that I didn't want to eat until the evening time again. So yeah, once I started eating sufficient calories, I found it really, really easy. So yeah, it's just something to be very, very mindful of. A lot of people find it very hard with calorie restriction and trying to maintain one meal a day diet and actually feeling the best way of doing it and having an abundance of energy and just making yourself feel amazing during the whole time you're in that intermittent fasting state with your one meal a day diet journey so that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below i get back as soon as possible i love answering your questions if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to hear about why they're necessary should not be in one meal a day and why i recommend for a lot of people they should switch to Two meals a day and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to get all types of different videos on so many different topics such as intermittent fasting one meal a day also show you what I eat for my one meal a day on a plant-based vegan diet calisthenics workout and progression videos and many other different videos to send you in the direction of learning about many different valuable things to send you in the direction of getting the results that you desire with your mind and your body and your energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and that you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming every single day without fail. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.